welcome back to Planned on Planning. Here we are in my fitness planner. And we have to get ready for this new month. And that means turning this blank white slate into something completely awesome and amazing. And to do that, let's get rid of March because we have some fabulous washer to put down. Okay. And this is the washi I'm going to be using. So I'm getting, you know, my yoga on or a reminder to get my yoga on. And then I have some pretty little meals. And so remind me just to eat good and eat right. So that's what we're going to be using this month. Now, as you can see, the washi goes a specific way. And instead of... Well, actually, this one's not going to be that difficult. I'm just going to bring it a little closer so I can see a little better. But it's truthfully not going to be that difficult. Otherwise, I would have went all the way over and just hit it with a little snip snip. But this one's working for me. So what I want to do... Darn it, my page is buckling. Sorry. What I want to do is I just want to lay it down real nice. Yeah, this one's saying my page is buckling. Real nice and gentle like. There we go. So sometimes, as you see what I did, when I can't get it to work with me, as opposed to going from this end, I'll just start from the back and go forward. It just makes it a whole lot easier. And it takes the guesswork out of it as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it some slack slide it on through and mark my crease. What I always say is I love, 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 love these book bound planners because I can just make, ooh, ooh, I did that myself. I can just make one clean banner at the top and I don't have to worry about cuts. I don't have to worry about snips. None of that. And I just break off them one time at the end. Again, I love these book planners for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down my food. And yes, I know that when I put down my food, I still have a lot of area left. Because usually I get the whole area taken care of. But I'm not worried about that this time around. You know, did it be different even if it's your own stuff? So once again, what I'm doing is I'm just putting it right there at the edge and I'm going directly under and I'm sliding back forward. Ooh, I don't know what that's from. And then I'm slowly but surely going across, allowing myself some slack so I can smooth it out to hit my crease and then I keep it moving. Hey, how you like me now? And it just comes out so perfect. What you have to realize is what you want it to look like is the perfect way for it to look. So whatever makes you happy, there's no rush. Take your time. Get it right. Do what you love. Love what you do. And that's how we have So Pretty to Start. And what I want to do is I want to put some uh, fruits and veggies down at the bottom as well just to like complete the look so I'm just going to hit it right at the corner and I'm going to use the bottom of the page as my guide I can give myself some slack hit me in the crease and bam, there we go. There we go. Here we go. All right. Okay, so as you can see, to even start, like if if I didn't know what else to do, if I didn't have any more time, or if I just was 
like whatever i throw in the towel i think this is lovely just the way it is but we're not gonna stop there no 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 we're definitely kicking it up several notches and i mean that from the bottom of my heart so what i'm using today are my healthy heroes and my fitness stickers and as you can see i've marked a whole bunch that i want from here you know i like to get my gym clothes on remind myself while i'm doing this and make sure i look good doing it and i like to put that around and throughout but one of the most important things i do is i do my sundays just to give you a little sneak peek of what it looked like last month these are my Sundays where I just make sure I have my meal planned out for my breakfast and my lunch. And then I keep it moving. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I know these stickers say breakfast, lunch, dinner. But dinner really doesn't have to be planned out for me. Um, because I am sticking to my intimate fasting that I started. And what that does. Or I'm sorry, intimate and fasting. And what that is, is I eat between a certain hours. So I do the 16-8 plan for intermittent fasting. So that means I eat between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. So I don't really have dinner per se, but I'll have like a last snack more so a snack um around four so i'll have breakfast my first meal would be breakfast and i'll have that at 10 and then i'll just go from there making sure to eat every two to three hours so that's why i don't necessarily need the dinner and of course as you can see there's not really much space for it anyway oh my gosh so that little uh, cut was a bit off. I'm not sure I made it much better, but we'll see. And then we have two more. And what I do is I just hit a little, little snip snip. There we go. Here we go. And then we're putting our last one in. Bam. I love it. Okay. So that's a wonderful start. So what I do is I meal, my, do my meal prep on Sundays to make sure I'm straight for the week ahead. Grocery shopping definitely gets done on Saturday so we can prep it on Sunday. And that's the basis for my plan. Um, being it starts the beginning of the month as well, I just want to do a nice little wellness report. These are very important to me. And I always like to close the month with my nice little wellness report as well. Just to make sure I stayed on track and on target with everything. Now, let's get some inspo in. Let's do that. So I have this wonderful section here that I like to dedicate to my inspo. And that's what we're going to do right now. Just some things that keep me going, keep me steady. I actually want to put another one above that one. There we go. So it's stop wishing, start doing. Strong is the new skinny. Because let me tell you, you're going to the gym every day, but you can't open up, you know, your own jar. What are you really doing? Like, let's be honest. What are you really doing? And that was my, honestly, tell telltale sign that I needed to get it together. That I wasn't going hard enough at my full potential. Because when I came home one day, and, and I honestly have been slacking off. I'm not even going to lie. 
But I had a jar that I needed to open. And I've never, since I've been going to the gym, I've never had any problems opening jars. Like, serious jars. But I couldn't get it open. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, am I not, like, what am I doing? Like, I just, that's when I realized I've been playing around. Like, I'm not doing what I need to be doing. Clearly, I can't open this jar myself. And here's the part that sucks. Like, six million times more about it. I live alone. So it's like, what, I'm, and I'm sitting there, like, with this jar in my hand. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to take this to work and ask somebody to open this for me? So, guess what I made sure? I made sure my bags was packed and I was ready to go to the gym the next day. And I definitely hit them weights. And not only hit the weights, but I kicked it up several notches. Because it was like, this This can't be life. Like, this is not how it's got to be. This is not how it's going to be. Like, I'm not traveling with jars of anything to work, trying to find some guy at my job to open it for me. I'm like, nah, I'm better than this. <laughs> like, I'm so much more better than this. I know I have the potential to be better. That means I haven't been working out to my full potential. So that's when you're just sitting on the machines, taking selfies, talking to whoever. And it's like, no, 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 so, like I said, I made sure to go to the gym, get off those little, you know, 10 and, well, actually I wasn't doing 10s, but get off those little 20 pound weights and to really step it up. Because like I said, I know I could be doing so much better. Like that was the first time in such a long time that I actually had problems and I was like talk about stunned and shocked like I, I can't even <laughs> express to you how weak I felt it was crazy but it was definitely an eye opener it was definitely something that I needed and it definitely kicked my butt like well I kicked my own butt I guess um I hurt my own feelings by not <laughs> being able to open the jar Luckily, I had some friends coming over, so I was able to go, um, can you open this for me? And, you know, it's a guy, so he feels, like, all needed and wanted and, like, yeah, I got this. But I'm just, like, I'm so embarrassed. Like, I could be doing so much better. Like, I don't, I'm better than this. So, I'm back at it. I'm back at it. Okay. All right. So, this is what we have for the month. I want to keep it nice and simple, still allowing myself to write some things on certain days, you know, and to also track things as well. So, I have my wellness reports, I have my workout log, my little check in. I track some steps every now and then. And then I also have my meal plans worked out so i have at least my breakfast and my lunch that can taken care of after the gym because i usually hit the gym four o'clock so after the gym when i finish working out for about an hour or so i just have myself a light snack 
and then six o'clock done with all my eating all together i thank you very much for hanging out with me today and creating this lovely masterpiece for listening to my wild story about how i hurt my own feelings and not being able to open a jar if you have any questions comments concerns feel free to drop a comment below if you feel more comfortable emailing me you can definitely email me um my planner Email is plans on planning at gmail.com. But if you happen to have any fitness questions, because we're talking about fitness, you can hit me up there on that email or you can go directly to my fitness email, which is on the road to fitness.com. Feel free to follow me on social media. And then once you do that, don't forget to hit the send message and slide up into my DMs. And we can talk about whatever you want. We can talk about planner stuff, my stickers, my markers, my pens, all that wonderful stuff. Hey, even my little paper clips that I love so much. Or we can talk about some fitness things. If you need help fitness-wise, let's get it. But in the meantime, in between time, later days. Rage, rage, rage.